If you were not here in our class last week, we started making a piece of art for fundraiser. And step by step together, we all drew the pieces to create a lion. So you will be creating the lion today with the video to get caught up. We will be using a circle tracer for the um, head of the lion. I do not have my circle tracer with me, so I'm just going to draw the circle, but you are going to trace the circle using your crayons. So I'm just going to draw a large circle for my lion's head. Again, you will trace your circle. The next thing that we'll do is we will work on the lion's ears. They are just curved arch shapes, kind of like a rainbow. So one on this side and one on this side. Then we have to do the inside of the ear, which is a smaller curved shape on each side. Next, we're going to work on his eyes curved shape, put down, make sure you leave at least one space. You could put a finger there and make another curved line. His eyes are closed. We're going to work on his nose now. So we're going to make two straight lines down. They connect to his eyes. One and two. Next is his nose. We're going to draw a straight line across for his nose. And then it just curves underneath for his nose. He has a happy lion. We're going to draw a straight line down. And then a big happy smile for our lion. And then we're going to add some whiskers. One, two, one, two. We're going to skip down towards the bottom and we're going to make a zigzag line for the grass. It's not going to be the very bottom. We're going to come up our page a little bit. We're going to zigzag over about four times. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to make a curved line like the rainbow stop and then I'm going to zigzag one two times then I'm going to make another curved line like the rainbow and stop and zigzag to the edge of my page these are going to be his lion paws to finish them we're going to draw a straight line across the bottoms and then we're going to add two straight lines for toes one two one, two. Now, to finish your lion, you're going to use a bright green to color in the grass at the bottom. I'm going to put down a scrap piece of paper so I don't get my table dirty here at home. You don't really have to worry about that in the art room. Just be careful you're not drawing on the table or coloring the table on purpose. You want to do your best coloring. So I'm not pressing hard because my hand will get tired quickly. I want to try to color in one direction to make everything look nice. And I want to stay inside of my lines. If I press really hard, my hand will get tired very quickly. I slow down when I get close to the lines that I made. Again, I don't press hard. I don't want my hand to get tired fast. Do your very best job because we are trying to make a very nice picture for the fundraiser with the hopes that mom and dad will want to purchase it on 
different things like magnets or coffee cups. There's a lot of other choices as well. And in a few weeks, you will have an order form to take home. But no worries, you're not required to buy anything. I'm almost done coloring my grass. Can touch it up. If there are any white spots, I try to fill them in because I'm doing my best work. Okay, next up I'm going to use a pink. And I'm coloring three parts pink. I'm gonna color the inside of his ears. Again, doing our very best coloring. Stay inside the lines that you made for your lion. And his nose. Okay, this is where you will be caught up and you will be ready to paint. Make sure that your name and class code, so one dash, whatever your teacher's name is, one dash for your class code, name and code on the back, then you are ready to paint with everyone else.